Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. The primary goal of my YouTube channel is to make home cooking efficient and fun. Uh, one of the most popular dish uh, in my cooking class is fried rice, and I always have the student to make it. Uh, everyone enjoys making fried rice. It is quick and simple, taking less than 10 minutes. Uh, I have everything all ready and prepped. Uh, all the students have to do is to uh, stir it, and they always have a great time. Uh, the fried rice always turned out great, but the student would later tell me when they tried to replicate it at home, it just didn't work out as well. They would later ask me, what's wrong? They want to know what is the secret. Uh, the secret turned out to be the rice, and in this video, I will show you how to properly prepare the rice in order to make the best fried rice. Uh, a tasty fried rice is defined by the texture of the rice. It should be firm, moist, and crunchy. And most people will agree, a fried rice will not taste good if the rice is either too dry or too wet. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you to create the perfect texture uh, to use for fried rice. Uh, the first guideline is to use the right kind of rice, uh, either regular long grain rice or jasmine long grain rice. A uh, long grain rice absorbs less moisture in comparison to short grain rice, uh, which become too wet and it is difficult to fry. A uh, guideline too is to use less water. I recommend one part of water to one part of long grain rice to create a relatively dry rice. A guideline three is to fluff up the rice after it is cooked. Uh, this will allow the rice to aerate and uh, make it more dry. Uh, the fourth guideline is to let the rice to sit in a bowl uh, with a loose cover, uh, allow it to dry and cool. Uh, the fifth guideline is to store the rice in a container uh, in the refrigerator for two to three hours before using it to use to make fried rice. Uh, it is probably better if you let it to stay overnight. Cooling the rice is important uh, to dry it out, and it also gives the rice a firmer texture. Uh, guideline number six is to spot season the wok. Uh, even though the wok might look well seasoned, it's a good insurance policy to prevent the rice from sticking to the wok. Uh, the seventh guideline is to break up the rice thoroughly. Uh, the hamburger meat chopper is the ideal tool for breaking up the rice. Uh, the rice may be hard to break up if it has been stored in the refrigerator for several days. It is very important that you break it up as much as possible. Uh, the final guideline is to stir fry the rice thoroughly before you add other ingredients. Uh, however, sauteing chopped onions or minced garlic before you add the rice is okay, uh, as long as you uh, fry those ingredients to a slight golden color. Uh, you can fry the rice longer or shorter depending on your preference of the texture of the rice that you like. Uh, by following these guidelines, uh, you will achieve the texture of the rice that you like, and it will become the signature of your fried rice. A uh, fried rice has great uh, appeal because of its flexibility in incorporating different ingredients. Uh, a friend once told me, uh, making a good rice for fried rice is just like making a good dough for a pie. Uh, in summary, uh, first, use long grain rice. A second, cook with low water. Third, rice to aerate. And fourth, uh, let the rice to cool in room temperature. And fifth, store the rice in the refrigerator for at least two to three hours. Six, a uh, spot season the wok. A seven, uh, break up the rice thoroughly. And uh, finally, uh, make sure to stir fry the rice first. Uh, once you find the right texture for your rice, fried rice, uh, it becomes a blank canvas for you, and you can create infinite variations. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you would like to receive notification of my future video posting, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, see you next time, and stay safe.